Welcome back to the Inside EVs YouTube channel. Today I'm standing in front of a Volkswagen ID4 First Edition, and we're going to do the Inside EVs 70 mile an hour highway range test on her today. Now, the Volkswagen ID4 has an 82 kilowatt hour battery. Of that, about 77 kilowatt hours is usable. It's EPA range rated at 250 miles. That's the combined EPA range rating for city and highway. We're gonna talk a little bit about that later on in the video, but for now, I'm gonna head out to the New Jersey Turnpike, stop at an Electrify America charging station, fill it back up to 100%, then get on the Turnpike, drive around in loops, and see just how far she'll go. Now, it's cold out here today. It's in the high 30s. It's supposed to get up somewhere in the mid 40s during the day, so it's not terrible range weather, but, it's not ideal conditions either. Let's see how good the ID4 does at a constant 70 miles an hour. But first, don't forget, please click the subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming range tests and other electric vehicle content here on the Inside EVs YouTube channel. So we're on our way, all charged up out on the New Jersey Turnpike and cruising along at a 70 miles an hour. One note that we did check the speedometer with GPS for 70 miles an hour, because quite often the vehicle speedometers aren't exactly accurate. So we always check the true speed with GPS. And in the case of the ID4, the speedometer was dead on. It's perfect. I didn't have to adjust anything. We also checked the tire pressure, made sure it was set at factory specs. Uh, I have the vehicle in eco mode. Uh, the heating is on. It was uh, 39 degrees when we started out today. It's crept up to like 44 now, so it is warming up and it's sunny out, so I'm getting a lot of radiant heat, heat into the vehicle, but I have it set at 68 degrees just so I don't get cold. Uh, we always set them uh, the, the uh, HVAC at about 68 degrees in the colder months uh, and put the vehicle in uh, either like an eco mode or range mode to see to get the best range that we can from the vehicle. Um, very little wind today. It's about five or six miles an hour coming from the west. That really shouldn't affect things, especially because we drive in a loop and uh, that's really to offset any wind or maybe elevation change along the route, although the turnpike doesn't have too much of an elevation change. Um, now the the uh, ID4 has, and uh, the ID4 Launch Edition, which is what I'm in, or I'm sorry, the ID4 First Edition, is has an 82 kilowatt hour battery. 77 kilowatt hour is usable. It's EPA range rated at 250 miles per charge. Um, that's the combined EPA range rating. I couldn't find where they split city and highway EPA range rating. They they split the city and the highway for the MPGE rate uh, uh, efficiency. So I was able to play with the math, and it pretty much comes out that the 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 highway range seems like it was about 230 miles per charge, and the city range was about 275 or something like that. The overall combined is 250. So 230 uh, miles highway is about what we should expect here. Uh, although they, they test that at different speeds, it's not a constant 70 miles an hour, it's not in 39 degrees temperature, it's more of a controlled uh, environment. So we always say, you know, we use the EPA range rating as a barometer to, to, to compare what we get when we do our range tests. But it's not to say, oh, wow, look, um, EPA is wrong, because it's not. You know, there's, there's a million different ways you can test the cars. That's one metric. When we do our 70 mile range test here, um, 70, 70 mile an hour highway range test at Inside EVs, it's just to give uh, everybody just another metric to go by. And uh, it's, it's useful because if you're driving at a constant 70 miles an hour on the highway, uh, we, we, we give you a pretty good idea of what you can expect. Now, there's different elevation, there's different temperatures, but overall, uh, our range tests, and we repeat them quite frequently. Kyle does them and I do them. We try to um, d test each car twice in different conditions. We're pretty consistent with our results. Uh, otherwise, uh, 
taking into consideration the weather. Um, if it's 70 degrees, we're going to get a lot more range than when it's 30 degrees. Uh, but this, this is kind of like a cold weather range test. It's not really cold here today. Um, we're in the 40s. It's not ideal driving temperatures, but it's not 14 degrees like it was when I did the Porsche Taycan uh, 70 mile an hour range test about a month ago. Uh, in any event, we're going to check back in when we are a quarter of the way down. We'll see how far we've gone, what the estimated range shows, and, uh, you know, keep moving until the battery is dead or close to dead and see how far we get. All right, so we are at 50% state of charge. We have driven 116 miles, and the range estimator says we can go another 124 miles. That's 240 miles. What happened? Uh, well, as I mentioned when we were at the 25% mark, uh, the combined range, what we had driven, plus what the range estimator was saying we could drive, was 225 miles. Uh, and it was holding that. As we were driving, I was noticing for every mile I drove, the range estimator dropped a mile. But then I had to stop at a rest area to adjust the cameras. And when I turned the car back on, the range estimator recalibrated and showed 240 miles of, of total range, driven plus estimated. And it's pretty much held at that as we continue to drive. For every mile I drive, the range estimator drops a mile. So we're holding at 240 miles now. I'd be surprised if we finish up with that, but hey, uh, it's looking good for the ID4. We'll check back in when we are at 25% state of charge. All right, so we're at the 25% mark. We have traveled, let me check here, 169 miles, and it says we can go 66 more miles. So we're back to, if my math's correct, 225 miles like we were estimating when we were at the 75% state of charge mark. So um, now I have noticed our consumption rate has dropped down to 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour. Uh, I think that has a little to do with the wind. I think the wind isn't in our favor now. And, uh, and uh, the loop that I'm taking uh, at this time is a little bit more uh, uphill than when uh, I, I drove on the other side of the turnpike. So those two things have conspired to lower the consumption rate a little bit. Next check-in is at the Electrify America charging station in Bridgewater, New Jersey. I hope we make it because we're actually, we should be rolling in there on like fumes of electrons. I'm not sure exactly how you, uh, you express that, but um, we only have four or five miles of predicted range as a leeway. So I'm getting a little nervous about this. If it starts to drop down a little bit, uh, this might be the first time that I didn't make it to the DC fast charge station in one of our 70 mile an hour highway uh, range tests. Uh, there's really nothing else I can do. I can bail out really early, like 20 miles early and, and, and charge, but um, I'm not going to do that. We're going to go for it. And uh, this is kind of like uh, Seinfeld episode with Kramer when he was trying to squeeze every uh, drop out of that uh, gas tank. But um, this is going to be a close one. We'll check in when we're in Bridgewater. Well, it was close, but we made it. We rolled into the Electrify America station here in Bridgewater, New Jersey with 2% state of charge and an estimated remaining miles of only four. We covered 230 miles in the 70 mile an hour highway range test for the Volkswagen ID4 first edition. That's pretty good considering its EPA range rating is 250 miles. Now we did the math with the fuel.gov uh, MPG ratings and the consumption ratings and it shows that their estimate, their estimate for highway range was 230 miles. So we nailed it almost perfectly. Now we're gonna call this at 234 because it did show that we had two miles remaining. I probably could have even squeezed out 235, but hey, it said four, so we're gonna add those four miles. And one of the things we need to consider also here is that 
it was pretty cool today. We started out, it was 39 degrees. Uh, it warmed up to about 48 degrees, but now it cooled back down to about 44 degrees. So it was in the 40s for most of the day. That's not great range weather. I, I would suspect that if I took this thing out in like 65, 75 degree weather, uh, we might get closer to 240 miles at a constant 70 miles an hour. And that's pretty good. The ID4 continues to impress. Uh, I, I've driven it twice now, and uh, quite honestly, I think this is a great vehicle. I think Volkswagen really nailed it with it, and I think it's gonna be a super crossover for families, kind of affordable. It's not super affordable. It's, it's uh, you know, it does start at 39.9, but there is a less expensive version gonna come out next year when they start building them at the Tennessee plant. They're supposed to come out with an ID4 uh, version that's only about $35,000. Now you talk about adding the federal tax credit, maybe state incentives. The cost of this thing comes down well into the 20s, and then it competes with those vehicles that Volkswagen wants it to, the very popular crossovers that are currently dominating that segment. Um, you know, I, I honestly think that uh, they're going to do well with this. So that's it for the 70 mile highway range rating. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content here on the Inside EVs YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.